Are you struggling to create the perfect entrance into your city? Well, you're in luck. Today, I'm going to walk you through my top five entrances for beginners using a vanilla version of City Skylines. So just to, to be upfront with you, I have created a very basic small city with a terrible entrance into the city. And um, the first entrance that I'm going to give you is one that urban planners love. Uh, one thing you're going to notice I do routinely is I will use basic two lane roads to create my my uh, my entrances. So what I will do is create a roundabout as my first tried and true method of creating a city entrance. And to do that, you just use the curve tool and I, I like to go 10 tiles, uh, mainly because it's easy. And then you have to be really uh, aware of the angle that you're coming in. You wanna come in at a good angle so that vehicles don't have to stop. And you're gonna to wanna to mirror that on both sides. Now, you'll wanna go through and upgrade these and make sure that the direction is correct. And your roundabout, you'll wanna make sure is one way. Now coming into your roundabout, you can use any type of uh, road that you want. So let's say you wanted to use a basic collector road. You could do that. So I'm going to come straight up. And then I will get, there are two options here. You can either connect directly to it and this will function just fine. Or, if you want to kind of kick, take it up a notch, you can back up. Make sure that my entry angle, angle is good. And my exit angle as well. And then I will take these and I will upgrade and make sure that they're going in the right direction. So let's get rid of these roads and see how these function. Speed it up. And it is functioning very well. So that is one option. Another option is to simply extend basic roads directly to your highway entrances. So this is one of the ways that I will routinely take. I will simply bring my roads over to my highway entrances. So I like to use the free form tool here with my road guides on. I'll meet up and I'll try to make sure that it ends up completely square. And I'll do that on both of them as best I can anyway. This one's going to be a little more challenging, it looks like. So I might even back this out. And you can do the exact same thing with the other road until you get it just how you want it. And then honestly, you can just connect up and this will function appropriately as well. This will work just fine while you're starting out. Um, obviously, you will not want bi-directional traffic on this. You wanna make sure that the roads are pointing in the right direction. But there will be very little in the way of backups on this and it'll work well for quite some time. The next method that I will do uh, routinely is to grab a collector road, place it generally in between the two entry points. And you can kind of see the road guides are right there. That's how I know that I'm in the middle. And then it's as simple as connecting up, <laughs> or it should be as simple as connecting up. And I might need to extend this. I'm a little bit too close right now. 
and that's why it's giving me a hard time. So I can back that up just a little bit. And then I'll come from the highway for both of those and then just reverse the, the direction. And this will function well too. So the one thing to be aware of with this particular design, I'll show you in just a moment. So you can get some weird looping like this with this design. It will function for you, but it's not perfect. So just something to be aware of, a way to remedy this is to actually extend the highway. Um, then you only have that outside lane, which doesn't have anywhere to go anyway. Able to go this way, the center lane will, will do that, but people won't use it that way. And you'll see that this, again, functions incredibly well. So you might be thinking, I want something a little bit more advanced and I want the highway to go a little bit further. Well, I've got you covered there too. So we have that there. And now what I'm going to do is raise this up just a bit. I'm going to go on the lowest level, raise it up, and now I'm going to level it. Maybe I'll do a little bit stronger there. I just kind of want to mirror things on both sides. Now, somewhere generally in the center, I'm going to add these. So this is temporary. What I'm trying to do is give myself a place to start from where they will be completely level. So I backed up from the highway and now I'm going to go up. And now that's a perfect bridge across the two roads. So there are a couple things you could do from here. What I would do is head down at least 10, connect up there, head down another five, connect up there. Now I think I'm gonna extend this highway a little bit further. And what I'm trying to do is create a taper here. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So I went up four. Oh, whoops, wanted that road there. So what I'm trying to do is leave myself with guides that I can use to do this. We'll get rid of this guide right here. Whoops, went a little bit crazy there. Let's give myself one more guide to connect up to. Get rid of these ones. Okay, we have one side done. Get rid of that guide now. Get rid of all these guides. Make sure that we're upgraded everywhere and that the roads are going in the right direction. Oh, whoops. I corrected them the wrong way. <laughs> And then I will 
upgrade that to be a collector. And now we have a very basic interchange into the city. And this will function well too. A couple things I would do to improve this. You could have a roundabout here. That would be one way to, to remedy any potential traffic problems. You could get rid of these traffic lights and add stop signs. And this will function just great. You could improve the aesthetic by terraforming a bit. And truthfully, though this isn't incredibly realistic, you could eliminate those stop signs and it'll function even better. And now, for the final option. Okay, so for the jug handle, we're going to start out by doing a bit of terraforming again. So let's raise this up a bit. Actually, it's probably a little bit too high, so we'll take it down. These roughly level. And let's get our road going back through here again. Well, the trick here is to try to make this as balanced as it can be. Oh, we gotta back out just a little bit further. And for this one, I will switch over again to the freeform tool. Try to mirror my movements here. And then you do the same thing on the other side. And now it's just a matter of getting everything in the right direction. and making sure that all of these stoplights are off. You can pause it if you want, but the stoplight stop light should be off. And this will function as well. Now in this particular case, I'd want some way to loop around the road. Um, 
but this will allow you to enter and leave the city. All right. So I hope that you found these useful. If you did, please think, consider liking the channel, uh, subscribing if you're not subscribed, and hitting the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know in the comments which of the three of these you like the most. Take care. Bye-bye.